Hello. Hello. Welcome to our channel. I am Magda. And I am from Mexico. And I am Vishal. I am from India. <laughs> and together we are Mex Indie couple. couple. Right then, guys. So a lot of people ask me, do all the Indians look alike? Mm -hmm. The simple answer is no. We all look very different from one another. Mm -hmm. Northeast people look a little bit different as well, like the rest. Mm -hmm. So there is a video about why do people from the Northeast look different from other Indians. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's, let's watch it to, to see what, what we can learn from it. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so without further ado, let's begin. This question is why do Northeast Indians look different from other Indians? Now, India is a land of diversity and with many different kinds of people belonging to different races, cultures, and religions. So it is natural that people belonging to various different cultures would look differently. However, people from the northeastern part of India have a different look altogether. And why is that? Northeastern India comprises of eight states. We have Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Manipur, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Tripura, and Sikkim. Northeastern India shares its border with Myanmar, Bhutan, China, Nepal, and Tibet. These countries are comprised of people from almost the same ethnic group. Even with that, there's a variety of ethnic groups that live there, mainly the Mongoloids, the Indo-Aryans, the Astroloids, or Austric, and the Dravidians. Now, let me pause there, because I understand that in today's modern use, the term Mongoloid is often used as a derogatory term, and it's also used to insult people with a variety of different disabilities. However, for the sake of clarity, as well as the integrity of the original use of the word. I'm using the term to relate to people in East Asia and Southeastern Asia, so no offense intended, I'm simply using the term how it was originally intended to be used. There's archaeological data that confirms that the Mongoloid race used to live in parts of South Asia during the Paleolithic age. In fact, some anthropologists see modern Chinese people as secondary descendants of Mongoloids. Oh, and since the people of Northeastern right? India are also descendants of the Mongoloids, people, you can see why all these races share familiar features. So while the original settlers in northeastern India were Mongoloids, the Indo-Aryan and other ethnic groups arrived later. And you can see that there's a huge dominance of Mongoloid elements in the population of northeastern Asia. In some ancient texts, the northeastern regions belonged to tribes who spoke languages from the tibeto burman family. Then in other parts of the northeast, there was a race of people who reached man from the Yunnan region of China and from there to Assam. <clears throat> The Mayetis tribe of Manipur state descended from the Tartars who migrated from China in the 13th to the 14th century. But examining all the groups of people that migrated to northeastern India would take forever. But in short, there are more than 200 very interesting tribes in northeastern India <laughs> alone who at some point in history migrated from the neighboring countries of China, Myanmar, or Bhutan. And all of them came for various reasons, whether to look for fertile land or some sort of river or valley to conquer. Now, let's take a look at something pretty interesting and mind-blowing. Other than the racial differences, there are actually tribal and non-tribal dualities recognized by the constitution of India that give certain benefits to the many tribal communities in the northeastern parts of India. This was all set up to help them catch up with the rest of society in terms of educational standards and living standards. It's because of reasons like these that northeasterners are often non-recognized and misrecognized. They're also viewed by a large portion of the Indian population as being foreigners. Because when other residents of India see people from the Northeast, or even if a tourist sees people from the Northeast, the automatic assumption is, oh, they're foreigners maybe from China or Japan or Thailand happens, or Nepal. Happens all the time. That's some fact. label this as withholding the Indianness from the Northeastern Indian people. And that causes in many cases for them to be discriminated Completely and marginalized. It's a very common problem for everyone here to ask us where, whether we are actually Indians. That is very normal. And I wouldn't say it is normal, but it is very common. So there you have it, guys. Oh, I hope that answers your question so on sorry. why there is such a big difference in the look of people from Northeastern yes. India. If you enjoyed this video and yeah. thought it was interesting and educational, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Wow. This is a fantastic video. It gives very. a very clear idea because a lot of people automatically assume they are they came from China and they look like Chinese or anything. It's not the fact. It's actually 
Chinese locally because of them. Yeah, because right? they, they, they immigrated from there. Exactly. Oh, that's very and, interesting. And I had no idea. Yeah, and when it comes down to the fact that a lot of people think that they are from the other part of the country, that's a fact. And, and that's a horrible fact. It's just ignorance on the part of the rest of the country mm -hmm. to assume that, yeah. you know, they are Indians and the other people aren't Indians. Yeah, that's if it's, very if it's wrong. A question asked by, by Indians, I would be very, very offensive. If a foreigner is traveling in the Northeast and confuse them, it's more understandable, but it's not correct anyways because if you travel to a place you should do a little bit of research i think and my personal point of view to do a little bit of research uh, how people communicate basically Correct. how they look like how is the place so you are not making mistakes that make people feel bad or, or diminish but, their, but their, their quality yeah in all fairness these these kind of questions not all the time and not a lot of people are asking just because to make fun of them or something mm. like that if you're in mumbai um, you know and people might assume because it's a, it's it's a metropolitan it's it's a place where a lot of tourists come mm -hmm. right um there might be tourists that come from like thailand japan china to these people so, so sometimes people do genuinely get confused mm -hmm. but to assume them any less of an indian after finding out their identity is a horrible thing yeah it no. is unacceptable unacceptable completely right so on on that Mm. I think this was a very educational video. Very nice. Thank you very much for your suggestion. Yes. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and comment in the video. And put a thumb up. <laughs> exactly. And we will see you next time. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hasta luego.